This is your FM4 Saturday update with me, Chris Cummins. I do like to get a little bit adventurous when I host this show. Saturdays should feel special. So join me now in a noisy wind tunnel. Uh, my name is Felix and we're at Windebona in the skydive in Vienna in the middle of beautiful Vienna right now. Yeah, that's Felix from Vorarlberg in the Windobona facility in Vienna's Prata. Felix is a national champion in skydiving. He's a winner on the World Cup tour. He's a member of the Red Bull skydiving team. And he's the guy to teach me the basics of skydiving at this indoor facility. First up, he gives me a pair of earplugs. Be prepared for a loud and windy tube. Um, it's as loud as standing right next to a starting airplane. And for the wind, yeah, it's probably everyone already took his hand out of the car when you were driving on the highway. That's just how it feels on your whole body. Once I get into the tunnel, I'll basically be lying belly down in a sort of banana position with my chin up and my legs behind but spread shoulder length apart with my arms slightly forward but spread because they're my wings. Your hands are actually like, a, like the wings of an airplane. If one side is going down, you're going to turn this direction. So um, they're basically your stabilization wings on the side and with the legs you're just going to control the forward backward movement. It's so loud in there because the wind shoots up the tunnel at speeds of 150 kilometers per hour and more simulating the sensation of gravity induced freefall. It's an intense and quite costly experience. The session I took cost around the same price as a day ski pass and lasts only two minutes. But two minutes is a long time in skydiving when you consider that an average skydive from a plane lasts just 45 seconds. So that's why skydivers like Felix find wind tunnels so useful. It's the only thing to get really good in skydiving in a short period of time because otherwise you need thousands and thousands of jumps. In here you spend hours with... Uh, yeah, in a short period of time. So you can concentrate on a specific skill and just repeat it? Yeah, that's it. You can just uh, practice it a hundred times in there without uh, packing the parachute to go up again. Uh, it just takes, uh, takes a lot of time. I loved it. I really did. But I have to admit, I was rubbish at it. I've posted the picture on our FM Fear homepage, fmfear.orf.at. I was a little bit nervous, so I moved too hectically, whereas the key is being relaxed and moving slowly. The air basically needs its time to react on your body. If you move slowly, it's going to make you have better control in what you're doing in there. Later, Felix showed me what professionals can do in such a wind tunnel, zooming up and down right up to the ceiling, performing twists and somersaults, basically looking like energized Power Rangers. There are world and European championships where the competitors are rewarded like in ice skating competitions for their technique and their artistry. It's pretty spectacular to watch. I still dream of summing up the courage to jump out of a plane and really experience freefall in nature. But so I know what I'm doing by then, so I can enjoy it instead of just being terrified. It seems to me indoor skydiving is a great first step. Humans always thought about, wow, it would be really cool to, to go and fly, no? And that's what we offer here. 